Hey, cave fans, welcome back to the Octagon of Doom. Bramlage Coliseum in Manhattan, Kansas. A little bit of doom and gloom for the Wildcats tonight, Tom Keegan. Yeah, they never really got it going, and Bill Self went to his zone. Uh, he said because he couldn't match up against Dean Wade. That's part of it. I'm sure foul trouble was also a factor. And sure. Just a different look that uh, K-State, Bruce Weber said after the game, we did not prepare for a zone at all. So that was a bad idea. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And good idea by Bill Self because the stubborn Bill Self would have said, no, we're going to guard, we're going to play man-to-man, -man, we're going to stop that guy. Had he done that, Wade would have gone for 35 points tonight. He was that good early on. But from about the six-minute mark at the end of the first half, the rest of the way, he only scored seven points and, and was completely neutralized. I mean, they didn't take him out of it. it. He was still looking to get touches and trying to find spots, but he had no room to work, and that was Kansas's defense doing just a great job, competing, effort, high energy. They were really good all night. Kansas isn't a deep team, as we saw when they went to eight and nine, uh, but Kansas is definitely a tough team. Right. You know, three guys of the nine did not play well at all, didn't contribute to anything. But the six guys who did, including Mitch Lightfoot, really, yeah, Mitch Lightfoot had a Dennis Rodman line. Love no it. points. Love it. Five rebounds, three block shots, took a great charge. He was terrific. Uh, Osbuke wasn't that good tonight, and uh, Mitch needed to be, and he was. Yeah, that's a perfect way to put it. It seemed like whether you're talking about Devontae Graham and his 16 points, 11 assists, or, or Svee with 22 points and, and just knocking in threes at a, at a rate that we've come to expect yeah. from him, all the way down to just that one charge or that one assist or that one hustle play, it, it really was everybody on this roster contributed, and that's why they went by double digits on the road. Their fourth road win in the Big 12 in five tries. Everybody talks about handling your business at home and that's how you win the league and you go steal a few on the road. They're not just stealing games, they are probably better on the road. I mean, Bill Self said that after the game, more focused, yeah. and, and he said that a few times this year. They, they look tighter, they look better. Um, it, it's almost like this team likes being on the road because they like to prove, hey, we're going to come into your place and we're going to win and you're going to be quiet. Yeah, well, Yeah, what they're best at is competing. Right. And uh, real, true competitors enjoy competing on the road even more because so much is stacked against you on right. the road, including, including a rambunctious crowd. So this is a tough thing. It just is. Yeah, you already talked about Lightfoot, who I thought was off the charts good tonight. But but you wrote about Malik Newman. What do yeah. you like about him? Well, well Malik Newman gets so high for those defensive boards. I think that's why he gets to him so many of them because he just gets up there before the bigger clunkier bodies do and he had 10 defensive boards tonight to move into second place on the team passing LeGerald Vick in defensive rebounds and he's only like four or five away from uh, UW. Crazy. He said after the game uh, I like when I'm the leading rebounder because then I can tell everyone I'm the big man on this team. Yeah. Not quite, but he was big tonight. They all were. Kansas wins 70 to 56 and now has the rest of the week to enjoy this one and get some rest. Uh, Devontae Graham, 40 minutes. Svee, 39 minutes. Malik, 40 minutes. I mean, yeah, Newman's first 40 minute game, he's averaging like 37 minutes the last four games. This is a guy who went four consecutive games without starting. Sure, sure. So he's really figured out how to be a. Bill Self player, and, and he figured that out when he stopped trying to figure it yeah. out. Fair to say he's sort of a microcosm of the season, you know, kind of a, yeah. not the best start, but boy, just a little better each it, time out. Yeah, and when you have to prepare for a Big 12 team twice a week, and they're all, you have to prepare for every one of them or you're going to lose, Right. it's hard to get better, but they're getting better in addition to preparing for opponents. They're, they're working on themselves and on the opponents. From the octagon, 70 to 56, Kansas wins it. 18 and four overall, seven and two in the Big 12, and at least momentarily a game and a half up on three other teams. We'll see what happens the rest of the week. KU returns to action Saturday at home against Oklahoma State. We'll see you there. We'll see you before then. For Tom Keegan, I'm Matt Tate. Thanks for checking out KU Sports Extra.